Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads, thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 Gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? 
where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I wanna see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Through there lies the Limbo Highway, and on the other side of that, the land of the living. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. 
You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. Screw the rules. Come with me. No, I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike and I'm out. Okay, see you later, chicken. Yeah, okay. so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Ah, the old head of the department. Way before my time, I heard he was a total slave driver. like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. Looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, great, Saver! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey, work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. This place is a mess. Just thinking about Don's file system gives me a cold chill. This place is a mess. the way that eye is looking at me. The bread of the dead. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. 
Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Okay, a cat. No problem. Ta-da! Looks like some sort of crafty mine. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. Can I walk through your tent? I'm gonna see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Could you teach me how to do that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Bang! Ah! Pop another one. Lousy, bony fingers! My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da caños. that up. Hey, Genie! Come out of the lantern already! Huh? Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. I told you! I'm too big! You're not too big. 
You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. The bread of the dead. The bread of the dead. Signed. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Eva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> <laughs> Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free, and so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. Look at these poor saps. Smiles as bright and wide as the blade on my scythe. 
Soon I'll be coming for them. Nice bathroom! For several travel package upgrades if you'd care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers. Pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix, like this. Oh, on second thought, I, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Mr. Gray poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat to sell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? 
Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion for trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I think we should team up, be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No, thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit, and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you. But I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm going to blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. That's some premium-looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. Warning. Fire system, do not touch. The wheel won't turn 
and the door won't budge. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. For those who enjoy no-hassle travel, My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. This balloon is filled with a light chemical. <laughs> Look out below. That doesn't sound good. Server's down again. What else is new? maintenance staff is on the job. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit. 
Summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty coffee. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Not again! Ah, 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 ah! You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! The dead bull looks like it's not set. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Good enough for government work. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. It's a hole punch. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. I think that's the other end of Domino's message tube, if I could 
Just get in there. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteer time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. You know what I have to do? I just have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. She looks fine to me. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Bones in my office now you vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run domino here off the road all in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent there's nothing legitimate about this place you give all the good clients to domino manny now i'm embarrassed for you You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? 
That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it! And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected! This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. I don't see anyone out there. Hey, is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. My loyalty's still to the DOD, believe it or not. Hmm. Good boy. You just keep up that spirit, and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. A hey, guard! How's my little Count of Monte Cristo? No, really. Who are you? I'm a fellow prisoner, my friend. Maybe, but your cell's a lot bigger than mine, jailmate. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song. I know. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man. You are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. It's a slide projector. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we used that temp agency. Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. 
Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the Eighth Underworld. And for that, you need money. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. Have you thought about using messages tied to balloons? I can get you plenty of balloons. Pigeons, Manuel. Bring me their eggs. Pues, okay. Viva la revolución! Have you thought about using messages tied to balloons? I can get you plenty of balloons. Pigeons, Manuel. Bring me their eggs. Pues, okay. Viva la revolución! is empty. Uh -huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. What the? It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Congratulations, Domino, on your new job, Hector.
Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. Congratulations, Domino, on your new job, Hector. I can't even imagine a way to use coral there. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. the looks of those pigeons. Not watch it! Hmm, they don't look scared. I think they're actually laughing at me. That will there's a not very scary balloon in there. Lousy little ledge pickers. So that's where the vermin come from. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked.
Hey, what did they do with Gladys? It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Philodent. Good for dents, great for dentures. of that. This mouthpiece is full of philodent. Perfect impression of my teeth and like quite a chalky aftertaste too. Agent Calavera, and two guests. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. This looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend, if you want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. <laughs> Blood is my friend. Why are you crying? Betty? Oh, Betty! They fired me! <laughs> Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Gladys, 
What have you done? Oh, Gladys. have Gladys' heart in their web. It's an ugly pile of bones, like me. I guess I could always use a spare. I'll just drop this one. I'm carrying around too many of those already. On. Huh. They don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. These spiders have Gladys' heart in their web and a bone, but that's my fault. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. demon hard to eat. I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation, at least not until now. Hector, no! <laughs> oh! 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 Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Sorry. 
Híjole, mano. What sort of an holy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. That would make a decent go-kart. Gladys, what are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy! You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Maro? Huh? Never thought of that. Maybe so. This forest sucks the marrow out of everything. I climb it myself. I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. Careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Hey, Benny! What are you doing? Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped.
on the ground like rats. But from now on, we soar like eagles. Yeah. Like eagles on pogo sticks! What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? I ain't driving back to town, Manny. seems to be pointing the way to Rubacaba. Like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart bone by bone and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Pass up an old creepy key.
What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny? They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. Get the whole town's asleep. 
But I want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! Pin. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. This guy looks familiar. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she, too, was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so... I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it. Believe me, it attracts the wrong kind of women. your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? 
Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea. By the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here! Hey, hey, okay. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. That's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here! Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. You sure a woman named Mercedes Colomar never came through this town? She might have. I don't know. I told you the first time, I'm no good with names. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a honk. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. 
Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be borne to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Hello, Manny. Hola. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Nothing but the best for my customers. My rich customers. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. Ah, my bread and butter. Thrill seeking rich folk with a poor grasp of statistics and probability. Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat trick for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know? How about driver's licenses? Sure. Uh, just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. I'll think about it. 
<laughs> I can tell when you're just humoring me, you know? I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You, you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. Leader, Noir Perrymonk, number two. Do is the winner. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Looks like Lupe's been in the sugar again. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay, tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a coat in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Hup. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! <laughs>
this gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha <laughs> ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. That Doc Master Velasco is one salty old bag of rope. <laughs> you should see his wife. All right. So I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, Manny, Manny. The limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman Naranj is a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha, restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now, <laughs> except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a maritime union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walk-in beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny, because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nothing. I'd better go finish packing. I. you do that, son. This gate only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that?
Toto Santos, Rubacaba's friendly scrimshaw artist. Looks like it hurts. Looks like it hurts. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot about my date with Inez. Looks like it hurts. Looks like it hurts. Hola, Toto. Como estas? Not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranya here. Looks like a great night for cat races. We have a winner, Tiger Lily, in first, followed by Snowball's Johnson L. Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We were on a tight ship here, you know. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Oh, sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come Please upstairs. Adieu. Nobody there. 
Anybody there? Look, I told you, we don't have any kitty hats today. What? You have oh, to wait until safety. Tuesday. That's kitty hat day. I don't want a kitty hat. Fine with me. What's your bet, then? I don't gamble. It's a conflict of interest for me. Then why did you call me down here? For the friendly conversation. Post time. No more bets. Nobody there. Hello? Oh, hi. Betting stub, please. What? Please I need the betting stub the for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? In the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, OK. Bye. is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. jail cell. Then again, he sure taught Gladys a lesson that time. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials H.L. Not at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. I think Membrio could really use a nice tropical vacation. What a sad story. These stews sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, 
is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. Sorry, old coroner joke. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, Mimbrio? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain, of death within death. Their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. Embryo, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Somebody really liked this cat. Beloved Sanspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. Fuchi, that smell is peor que la muerte. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. This cat litter really needs changing. See, this is why I don't have a pet. This doesn't have the zing of Calavera Cafe, you know?
Hi, what's your name? Hi, what's your name? Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. Manny. At last, we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Do you think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. OK. Alive. We, we slept. slept. Life's, Life's just, just some, some rapid, rapid eye movement. movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. wake. The flesh the dream is over, over Daddy. Now, now that we're all crazy, crazy and dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ch uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour.
Let the waiter clean up after himself. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend? Salvador Limones. Salvador Limones is a fairy tale. A spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot. Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera. A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Terry. Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, man? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh, uh the solution that makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin.
I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back! Hmm. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. That does it. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. A note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is.
Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Manny? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Meximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. I'm sorry, monsieur, but... Here's my pass, Jean-Claude. Now shut those doors and drive. Oh, oui, monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul. Looks like cans of some sort of canned meat. Oh, I really hope this isn't where the old race cats end up. Looks like a turkey baster. You're doing? I wanted some wine. Oh, look at what a mess you have made. Get out of here. Hey, what about my vino? It's not self-serve. You'll just have to wait until I get around to it. Boy. 
Boy, that Nick sure gets around. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that, and I can do the same to you, Calavera. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. A friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Any mouthpiece will do. Then may I suggest you try the yellow pages? How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes. They keep themselves pretty clean. I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too. But they keep the lights on around here. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's going to pull out of it and win anyway, right? No. That puss-eyed puss is going to lose. But nobody knows. And I'm going to make him mint. Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? A friend of mine's in the slammer. I'll ask you again. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? What does it matter as long as they're excellent? It matters if the guy you're up against has got the best. Then I guess I'll need the best. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. This is gonna get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick.
Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from th that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? Lola, where are you? Up, is he? Hey, I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Sorry, don't mind me. Just passing through. To where? The elevator. Doubt it. Going down? Probably. Later. Can't I go down to the cellar? It's a wine cellar. Wine goes down there. Maybe you could take me down now. Oh yeah, I could take you down, but I can't eat customers anymore. No, down in the elevator. I want to go down in the elevator. That's true. They wouldn't see me hit you in there, but I still get in trouble. Why can't you hit customers anymore? Exactly. It makes no sense. Just open the elevator door. Then they really see us fighting. I don't want to fight. I just want to use the elevator. Chicken. How about a bribe? Look at me. What can you give to a guy who has everything? Sorry about my friend. I'll get him out of here if you want. Who, oh, Gladys? He's all right. He's just got to pace himself. I can barely get any sleep between changing casks for him. Hey, let's beat up that waiter. Not a bad idea. But he's new. Give him a break. Okay. Nighty night. <sighs> Looks like the pantry.
Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. I don't need any cat meat. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. That monster upstairs is running there ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. Somebody please open the door! <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here immediately! Oh, oh, oh. Get that mouse! Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it. There's no opening up here. on the job. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Eto, more wine. Oh, I'm going to fire him for ignoring my pleas. And then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. Thank you. 
here. Not here. stuck. Meal. It's full of double-end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along, just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it! You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the Union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> Cigarettes? What does it look like? Can't smoke on the job, Manny. What? It's a new compact for your makeup. Manny, I don't wear makeup, you know that. And I'm not saying you need to. Good. What? It's a little something special I bought for you. That's so nice, Manny. But save it for later, okay? When I'm off duty. What? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty-looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh, my God. Give me that! It's a bomb! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, it's probably the key to some terrorist hideout. Exciting day, huh? I'm still buzzed from that explosion. 
Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Maybe just a sip. <sighs> Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And, of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm hmm I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> poor grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when Speaking I was Speaking of six, metal detectors, did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh. See? This is why I don't have a pet. Stinky, but it could be worse.
strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. Should, but it don't. I kill the pain, turn off my drill, stop working. How about that? No, no, no. I can take it. Bring it on, pops. I'll pop you, sailor boy. That's one old fridge. It's empty. Hold still, Lothario. Dead. Ugh. Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Resek Chavargo. What kind of sailor are you? <clears throat> Can't handle bulls, huh? What you the us gonna know? What engem at the name folks give is at me? The tell you I shan't ball on the watch. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. Am I here? Well, he sobered up. I send him to Limbo. Yeah, yeah. You'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told Let's him. Let's see what you got on you. Huh, sailor? Are you kidding Seaman me? Seaman Anselmo Naranja Ensign third class. I gave him Doesn't the idea like you'll in be sure first place. In the morning. Ah, Tiger can't change his stripes. So, you still going? Let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Next beach I see, I'm finding me a watch. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? 
sprouted. But, ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. <sighs> All day long, Manny. I saw through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here. And the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. locked. wanted that picture real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! There's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay. Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh, 
darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I I'll tell you tomorrow. Lola's jacket. Poor Lola. If I only had her camera or that film, I could really get Nick. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Listen to me. You've got to take care of yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Velasco! Manny, do you mind artist at work here, eh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up to work in the morning. Sure, of course, I understand. Ah, uh, hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure, it is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see, uh, number 30, Harmin Sedge, Harmin Skeeter, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here, hey, what is this? My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Definitely. Looks like these cats are almost scruff and scruff. You said that.
betting stop, please. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha. What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. It's Lola's last work, a juicy photo of Nick and Olivia kissing. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts! What's that? You got it! Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. What? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either, but don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. It's a beautiful day here at Feline Meadows. Maximino? Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Look, you gotta cut Gladys off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got no problem. Credit? How did Gladys get credit? He's part owner of your club, ain't he? Half owner, actually. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. So as long as you're in business, he's in business. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Many. Let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say 
Your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago has been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> 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 no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> Ooh. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. Kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that twice. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town coroner, Manny. Cut it out. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. I don't want to interrupt this cat watching. You know, I'm getting the feeling Max ain't much of a dog guy. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more beds, please. Fourteen. Fourteen is the winner. Le 14. Numero 14, la gagno. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. 14 is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. 14 is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it! That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. 
This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they gonna close it for? Huh? Yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt and bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. And I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. Captain, Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! Ensign! and Arnold was just a kid. Oh, no. This can't be happening. Hey, he's back here! Sack him! Custom officials, open this door. Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Gladys, what do these readouts mean? That we're gonna blow up, Captain, and it's gonna hurt. That's the port anchor control.
They're locked together like plastic monkeys from a barrel. Gladys, cover your ears. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. Snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. Not blue yet. You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny. Not of the sea. Hang in there, Mano. Dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself. All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? Here comes one now. Amigo. Huh? Who? Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it 
shine. Scare away sea monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna let it shine. Scare away sea monsters. Scare away sea monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna let it shine. Scare away sea monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. 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 Let it
Penny, is that... The Pearl! <gasps> Whee! I knew I'd find her someday! I'm rich, 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 rich! Shh! Something's happening. Benny, what's going on? the way that thing's looking at us. I'm not going down there while that... I think we found our transportation. Clams. Not quite as famous as the pearl is the slimy barnacle covered old rock of legend. I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. Hmm, this door's locked. books. Man, that ashtray's so fancy you could eat caviar out of it. It's empty. Meche. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock. 
and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. <laughs> I'm gonna grind you to powder for that cow, Dong. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. This is sad. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our, Our parents? parents? <laughs> hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Harley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man. Yeah, go away. Meche's my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitch. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mitch you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> you're two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> you know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. I'm the one who's going to take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's going to take care of us? We'll be all alone. <laughs> 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 Get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchie. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. Nice cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us and let them make nests out of our bones. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay.
Look, it's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that, but I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining to do. W me? About what? Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> so why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. And what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. Listen, Mechi. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. Listen, Mechi. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay? I like the new dress. Well, it's the best I could pull together out here. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get decent fabric and silk stockings on a deserted factory island on the edge of the world? Hmm. No. No, I don't.
like the new dress. Well, it's the best I could pull together out here. Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. Listen, Mechi. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay? thing on this cruel island. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. here soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust off. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you get a bust off? I'm connected. Plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins. You people and your fancy boats never know about it, because you just never stop and look. Give me some booty, and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bust all. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? A gun. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? I think it's some form of blue-green algae. Ah, oh, don't worry, you get used to it. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Chapito! To the... Huh? Who? What? That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. If you say so. Well, I've got a long day of grief wrecking ahead of me, so please, bust away. Yo, Beto, have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're... Oh, dee da 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 mm, A little clear nail polish would fix these right up. Da -dee -da -da. Hey, Jeffy, check out the hosiery. Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. Da -dee -da -da. How 
convenient. You're okay. Well, it hurt a little when I hit, but my head cracked open an aft panel here. I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good point. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea's good too. So good to see him again. must bring the poor over here to be crushed. Either that or these are the biggest, meanest looking hair colors I've ever seen. This coupe looks heavier than my last ship. It's not a handheld device. chisels to the new guys.
got it to float. That was the easy part. The trick's gonna be busting through that big coral reef out there. Bust through a big coral reef, eh? It just so happens I got some hardware up the beach you might be interested in. Oh, yeah, this will do just fine. Just give me a sec to do some figuring. a relationship without trust. True. A relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go. Mitchie, you don't know what you... I know exactly what I'm doing. Now move! Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm going to crack you open like a fake thing, boss. I'm going to... Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker, but a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. I'm warning you, Domino! be a combination lock, but there are no numbers Magsy! on it. Poor Don was never good with numbers. Ooh, I bet I could pick that. Domino! You'd better let me out of here! Domino! It's a bus you'd door. better let me out of here! Domino! You'd better let me out of here! I'm in here! Ah! Must have hit a Manny, major circuit. where are you? Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. Those tumblers must be made of a harder steel than the outer door. Those are the tumblers of the combination lock. I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel. Mitchie, you can come out now. Mitchie? Boy, 
the bus stall and I really did a number on that door. Uh-oh. Oh, Ralph. I am so, so sorry. Looks like I messed up these contacts when I broke through with the bus stall. Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh, the wind? Oh. <laughs> hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. What's in these cases? Take a look. It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dama have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double-end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean, they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-end tickets? I can't reach that high. That home plumbing sprinkler system looks like it's about to fall apart. That home plumbing sprinkler system looks like it's about to fall apart. They're all locked up. These must be very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. This must be the big chipper. Now, all we have to do is wait for the room to fill up, and we'll just float on out of here. Well, this is disappointing. Not to me. We don't float, remember? Thank you. After you. What about the suitcases? Forget them. They're counterfeit. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go.
Gladys, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat all ready? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. What? Oh. So are you really going to bring me back and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. I give you one job, Manny! And look at you, already screwing it up! Suppose you realize that this is gonna go down on your permanent record. Domino's just the kind of guy to practice Oxford regulation boxing and then pull out a blade when it comes time to fight. That's the squishiest looking periscope I've ever seen. So you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen. If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you. Name? Pugsy Poligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Uh... Glorious! Glorious! Is that me? Glorious? Where'd you go this time? would love these. Looks like standard DOD issue. It's full of caskets. Hello? Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. That's no place to put a mug. What's wrong? Go up there and see! Hey, 
Where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. to that train. Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in Elmaro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well, Thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you he left this note. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Híjole. of the Great One. Glottis. Glottis. What's happening? How many days has this grand demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the Noble One will surely die. What? Glottis, I'm sorry. Many. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save. Everyone. Are you in much pain, my friend? Only because I let you down, Manny. What can I get you? Will anything help? I need to race to fly like, like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, carnal. Maybe I'll see her on the other side. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <laughs> No more hot ra- Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. Listen, fellas, somebody, somebody get a pen. There it is, my final work. It could save me if you have the right, <coughs> the right <coughs> fuel. What fuel, Gladys? Gladys! Meche, we have to get back to Omaro for the tickets. Oh, Gladys.
gondolas? I knew we should have checked this side of the mountain before we walked up. It's the mug rack at the end of the world. There's a note next to this toaster. To avoid further mishaps, please butter your English muffins after you toast them. Facilities. It's full of rags. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. I'm not in the mood to dust. This better not stain my pocket. I'll oil stuff later, once Gladys is okay. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. It's an oily rag that I made all by myself. How eerie. They have the same tool cabinets as Gladys. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life! Come back to us someday! Remember the glory days, Manny? Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mio! She's been booby-trapped. By who? Who? Those dominoes are like one long fuse. Don't panic. Gah! Manuel Calavera? Ha ha ha! Well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco. But she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket. Where is she? Oh, well, 
We traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? You'd think after two years, he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on, at least. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. Coffin shooter one, two, three, just pour, chill, and serve. Nothing in the dishwasher. They still haven't done these? I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. I would, but I hate sucking gelatin straight from the tap. That's what the lumbago diorama needed, fake ocean water. Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. Don't panic. Yeah! Looks like Domino left his calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. It's, uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad at all. <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago! Aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. He looks like he's about to blow too. So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? Ooh, 
good show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. It's not gelling. It can't gel now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. I wonder if Inez no, has cooled off running. yet. It's a little cabinet. Shut your hole. Stop moving. Liquid nitrogen. Not to be used on bone. that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Soon to be known as the blown wagon. Hey, that's not funny! I'd better disarm her first. I'd better disarm her first. Fiendish. Well, here goes nothing. Looks like Hector's taken over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. Trap! It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Thank you, sir. You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. You idiot Faust. Your new lab assistant is a spy! Haven't you ever heard of a background check? What? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years.
it's the part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. Better save this part from sprouting. No, it might come in handy. <laughs> I think that would be disrespectful. Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on bone. I wonder how that soldier's getting by without this arm. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, a.k.a. the florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he's a botanical weapons expert. This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sproutella for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. This camera sprouted as well. That's three LSA casualties in one night. It's my ex-boss's ex-secretary, Ava. You're never gonna let me forget the secretary thing, are you? Any messages for me? No, nope. call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Any messages for me? They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. If I show him this photo, he'll fly off without anything to deliver. If I show him this photo, he'll fly off without anything to deliver. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector and a gun. So we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. Memo to all agents. Priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? Here goes nothing. Go, baby, for la revolución! for me? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it! I knew he was out to get me the whole time! But you'll never find my secret out at all. You're going to have to find yourself another florist!
Hello down there. <laughs> Never mind. Go back to sleep, whatever you are. I saw Bowsley run down here, but where did he go? It's not like Johnny Thunder lets just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business. Mmm, show business coffee. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. And then, here's the good part. You don't say. Oh, what did you do that for? I didn't, I... You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. This is your lucky day. We got an opening and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. Then sit on down, we gotta start your makeup. Now don't go too far, you never know what time is showtime around here. This snowmaker is huge, but the grinder part looks handheld. Aha, uh -huh. it's a handheld grinder. I think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. This snowmaker is huge.
This remote control works the bone wagon suspension. Not so high! I don't really want to do that. Looks like Bowsley broke a canister of Sproutella when he landed. I hope he didn't drip any on himself. Flakes of bone are sprouting when they hit the puddle and turning into baby tears. Look out! probably in that maze, but I'd never be able to find them without, well, without something really helpful. Okay, I think I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. Hey, what's that? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us! how a little touch of human remains can brighten up a place. It's amazing how a little touch of human remains can brighten up a place. No. Hector? I'm picking up a lot Hector, of anxiety is that you? here. You better back off, man! I mean it! I'm At not feeling borosi! At least he's got some of the bodies on ice. I'm having... I feel... Bodies on ice! 
Hector is the show. That's the most gruesome window display I've ever seen. That's a gruesome display. You better back off, man. I mean it. I'm not Looks feeling like too rosy. Looks tape screwed to the wall. Screwed to the wall. I mean it. I'm not feeling too rosy. I'm having. I feel. Hey, do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box. You get out of here right now, or I'll let you have it. I'll. Hey there, stranger. Can I help you? Um. Uh... Uh, I'm looking for something in a 9mm. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. There you go. Would you like some baby's breath to go with that? Sure. All right, here you go. You have a great day now. Strange is going on under that raincoat. Hey, what's going on under that raincoat? I don't know what's going on under that makeup. Agent Calavera. You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from our arch enemy at the same time. What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? I'll stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limons himself, and I'll make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. That's one dedicated soldier. I wonder if she's intrigued by my new jaw. Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. Buenos dias. Back off, sleazeball, or my husband here will bust your jaw. Meiji, it's me. Manny? That's some costume. Here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Uh, why do you want to get him into a sheet? I told him there was a big toga party at the Casino Romano but he had to wear this sheet to get in. After he changes, you take his suit and go upstairs. Get it? Mmm, you're trickier than I thought. Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. Hey! Special assignment just in from Salvador. Young lady. Crack that machine and leave the change right away. Yes, sir! God. Help! Uh. Ah. Hey! Young lady. Not funny. God. I did it! 
My system worked. I knew it. I told you. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one for me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog. I think this is his good side. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Crocky ducky. Then answer me this one simple question. Huh, okay. What is Hector Lamans' favorite prime number? Two. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh, okay. If Hector Lamont's for a cat, how many lives would he have? Sorry! <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh, okay. What is the circumference of Hector Lamans' head in inches? Four. Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont. <laughs> Looks like Celso found his wife after all. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lamont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already. But he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so I suppose the position is open. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho! Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... This makeup breathes about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. I can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls a gun on you tonight, huh? 
just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself. So, well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent! The little lady changed your mind, eh? No, actually it was your agent over there. Of course, he's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in, let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr... My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, but Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the Campos pile. I... get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the legs pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the legs pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. I think using that old gargle as a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. Well, so much for my third arm. Too steep to climb. Bowsley was right, this is the good stuff. Well, it was 
gonna happen eventually. Ay, Chihuahua! That one must be yours. Don't forget to send for help! Back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Hola, Manuel. Time for you to swing, Daddy O. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. This is the way in. I just hope there's a way out. She loves me. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double-end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all the fast acting Sproutella. Very slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Manny, where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave. <laughs> Gracias, Toto Santos. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. <sighs> he truly gave his body to the cause. 
Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right. And tell Eva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. For when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you... Hey, get out of there. Farewell, my friend. What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> ah! <laughs> he truly gave his body to the cause. Nothing like the real McCoy. Hey, my scythe. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. not doing anything now. I don't really want to do that. I'm not doing anything now. I don't really want to do that. My scythe, I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe, I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade.
This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Yes, lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. I'm saving my ammo for the big guy. I'm saving my ammo for the big guy. Doesn't sound good. You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assumed I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. Bye. <laughs> Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. <laughs> 